kind of blurry. That's better. Over 64% of adult Americans need glasses. Even though millions of people need glasses, most would consider their vision to be the most valued sense. Some of us need glasses at a young age and others don't. And that's, that is probably the case in animals as well. You've probably described some people as blind as a bat or eagle-eyed. And those can hold some truth. Indeed, there are big differences even among, let's say, like goldfish. Just some goldfish have good vision and some don't. If I were to go to the ophthalmologist, I could tell them which lines on the eye chart are blurry. But with animals, there's obviously a language barrier. We can't ask Steve the giraffe if one or two is better. So scientists like Dr. Caves have to come up with some unique methods to figure this out. You get a, a round, a cylindrical tank, and you put an animal in the tank, and then you line the sides with vertical black and white stripes and you rotate the stripes. And if the animal can see the stripes, it's gonna rotate its body to try to stabilize its visual world. At a certain point, you've reached the animal's acuity limit. And so it won't spin its body anymore because it doesn't actually see that there's motion happening. Even with all these tests, it's hard to discern how each animal perceives vision. For instance, in people, the image projected onto the back of our eye is actually <sighs> upside down. But our brain then decodes this image so that we perceive it the right way up. And there may be unknown ways animals decode the image from their eyes. Are there then things in the brain or higher order centers that post-process the image and enhance the contrast or sharpen edges? So how do we know if they're seeing in 4K or VHS? In your eye, you have the retina and on the retina there's photoreceptors so you've heard of probably your rods and your cones if your eye was a camera the number of photoreceptive cells you have is sort of like the number of pixels in the image and finding the key to ways different animals use their vision can enhance our own lives too and as we work on miniaturizing camera technology nature's already done it for us in the form of jumping spider eyes. One of the primary challenges people face today is the insane amounts of digital information there is. Animals may already have the answer. I think of a lot of these visual systems as like natural compression algorithms and they've already figured out how to keep the relevant bits for behavior while getting rid of a lot of the like fluff. It turns out eyes in the animal kingdom are really complicated, but I hope we've given you a little more clarity in Missoula, Tanner Saul, MTN News.